Today we're going to talk about integers and the absolute value and opposites. So the questions that we want to be able to answer are, first, what is an integer? How do I find the opposite of an integer? And how do I find absolute value of an integer? Let's talk about what integers are. First of all, we talked about the sets of real numbers. We said that the numbers 1 to positive infinity are what we call natural numbers because they're the numbers that you naturally learn to count with. Sometimes they're called counting numbers. If we add 0 to that list, then it becomes the group of whole numbers. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 to positive and infinity. If I add the negatives along with my natural and my counting, that gives me the list of integers. So integers are your positive and negative whole numbers. That means they're not fractions and they're not decimals. Now, let's talk about opposites. The definition of an opposite is a number whose head is the same distance away from zero. So it's a distance measurement. That's important. And any time we measure distance, we measure it from zero. So remember, that's always your starting point. So let's find the opposite of some of these numbers. The first one we want to do is negative 2. So find negative 2 on the number line. And count how many spaces is negative 2 from 0. Well, it's 1, 2 spaces to the left. So we want to find what number is 2 spaces to the right of 0. Well, 1, 2, that would be positive 2. If I look at positive 4, I count the number of spaces 4 is from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. So what number is four spaces to the left of zero? One, two, three, four. Negative four. Find positive eight. Eight is eight spaces away from zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the right. What number is eight spaces to the left from zero? That's right, negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By negative nine. How many spaces is negative nine from zero? That's correct, nine. How many, what number is nine spaces to the right of zero? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Positive nine. Therefore, opposite is a distance measurement. That's important. Now let's talk about absolute value. Absolute value, again, is the distance a number is from zero. So find zero on your number line, and let's start counting how many spaces. When we say absolute value, we don't want to write absolute value over and over again. So we denote it by using two very long lines to explain the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 8 would be a negative 8 with two long lines on it. Make sure they don't look like 1s. So the first one is the absolute value of 3. Find 3 on your number line and count how many spaces it is to 0. 1, 2, 3. Find negative 9 on your number line. How many spaces to 0 from negative 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Find negative 5 on your number line. How many spaces from 0 is negative 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. five find 7 on your number line. How many spaces from 0 is positive 7? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many spaces is 0 from your number line? Well, if I find zero and I go to zero, 
it's actually zero spaces. Therefore, keep in mind that absolute value is not the opposite of the number. It's not just the positive of the number. It's the distance the number is from zero. Remember, distance is always positive. Well, you say, but Mrs. Cop, what if I go three spaces backwards? That's negative three. No, you still went three spaces. So it is a positive three. Now, what have we learned? In the summary part of your notes at the bottom, please answer the three essential questions. What is an integer? What is its opposite? And what is the absolute value?